What's up guys, Craig Peters here with uh, another little recording tip. Um, this one is in regards to latency. And uh, for you guys who aren't too familiar with what latency is, it's actually playing, going into your interface, the time it takes for your computer to process it and then come back to you through your speakers. And um, you won't be able to hear this, but I'll be able to hear this on my monitors, but when you actually do this on your DAW, which I'm using uh, Logic Pro 9, you'll be able to hear you know how this can kind of be very annoying and um, so first off usually the first thing you want to do whenever you're trying to get rid of latency is you go to your preferences audio and down here you can see your IO buffer which mine is 1024 which is the highest and normally you get a lot of latency doing this so I'm gonna show you how you can kind of not even have to mess with that and just bypass that whole thing and then you just pretty much do it with uh, within your mixer so I'm going to play a little bit and, and I mean, right now I'm experiencing a lot of latency, but for you, what you're going to want to do is you're going to create an aux track and the first thing you see is, is it stereo out? What are you going to do? And I already have one already built in my template. So that's pretty helpful too if you know you're going to be dealing with this might as well just put it inside your template so that way it's already created every time click and hold go to output and you're going to go to surround and you come back over here you know you go and arm your track start recording and automatically you're going to hear zero latency it's going to <laughs> You don't have to mess with everything. Everything's, you know, zero latency, everything's sounding good. And then once you're done tracking all your parts, and this works for, you know, if you're doing vocals, even MIDI stuff, you have a MIDI keyboard controller, you can experience latency, get rid of it just by changing the output to surround sound. And then when you're done, just go ahead and set it back to stereo output. And yeah, and then you can just start mixing and doing all that other stuff. But this is a quick way to just eliminate latency. And uh, um, I don't want to take credit for this. I didn't come up with this by myself. I, I read about this online. Someone who, I guess, tried it out and it worked. So I was like, all right, you know, tried it and worked good. So hopefully this helps and eliminates any problems you might be dealing with latency. So, yeah, thanks for checking it out. See you.